let's go with good YouTube. It's your boy Daniel. Today I'm coming at y'all with a freaking banger. The pros of meditation. That's what y'all came here for? Y'all came here to figure out the pros of meditation? Well, I got y'all. Okay, we're going to start this off with number one. Extreme levels of focus. You don't know focus until you meditate. Till you meditate on a consistent basis, you don't know what focus really is. I'm an artist, so I've I've seen the levels of my focus rise over time in an athlete. When I tell you meditation helps you become more focused, it does this because it grounds you in the present moment. You're in the present moment. You're zoned in to what you're doing. So you're able to work to every detail, whether it's whatever your craft is. You have to be extremely focused. Now we're on the number two. This is the one that's going to make a lot of people level up their life. You gain an understanding and control over your subconscious and your conscious mind. Okay. So when you meditate, you know, you're sitting still, you're going, um, and you're sitting in your thoughts, right? You wouldn't believe me, but anybody that meditates will tell you. There is two levels of your mind, the subconscious and the conscious. The subconscious are the things that are basically habits that you do every day. You don't even really, you don't think about them. Okay, it takes a long, long time to change the subconscious because it's patterns. We work in patterns. If you do it every day, if someone does the same thing thousands, 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 thousands of times without even thinking about it, that's subconscious. The split second decisions that you make to better yourself that's conscious because you're thinking about it subconscious is below the conscious level and when you meditate you finally understand that you're not in full control you're not in the driver's seat as much as you thought you were buddy the subconscious runs the mind and you realize that and you realize how to tweak your subconscious slowly but surely to make your life what you want it to be you have ideas, you have beliefs, all this is subconscious, which means you're not aware of it. You, you're not aware of it to the level of your conscious. You don't make these decisions. Patterns and habits make these decisions. And when you finally gain a little control over it, once you start meditating, and I'm telling you, you gain a little control of your subconscious and your conscious mind, you're gonna be something dangerous because you're gonna be able to Make whatever you want in your mind. If you want to pick up a new habit, if you want to become, I don't know, a master negotiator, or you want to change your body language, or you want to flirt with girls better, you ingrained in your sub subconscious mind. You basically got it for free because you don't have to think about it. But it takes hours and hours of practice, though. Disclaimer, it takes a long time. Okay. Pro number three, you cannot be knocked off center. When I say you can't be knocked off center, I mean you're more even keel, okay? You're more chill, you know? Your brain might be racing, but you're still chill, you know? Because you understand that everything's going to be all right. Everything ain't always going to be all right. But God damn it, everything gonna be all right, okay? <laughs> hey, everything gonna be all right, man. But God damn it, everything is gonna be all right inside of my head and in my world. The outside world, I cannot control it. But inside of this school, in between these two years, every, God damn it, everything gonna be okay, man. I swear to God on that. Can't control much. But you can control what's going on inside your brain and what you're thinking about. And especially you can control how you react to certain things, okay? All that goes into you can't be knocked off center by anyone but yourself. Okay, number four. I want all of y'all to take a second and just look back in your past, okay? We're going to be talking about the people you met in your life. The people you've chosen to invest your time and effort in, okay? We've all invested our time and effort in the people. We've all got shitty return on investments, you know? 
we could have put in 10 years in a relationship, five years in a relationship, and got a shitty ass return. I'm tell you one reason why a lot of that happens. You don't see people for who they truly are. You get invested, and then you figure out who they are, but it's too late. You already invested 10 hours, 100 hours into the person. But meditation helps you see people for who they truly are. You're able to identify people's habits, their beliefs, whether you like them, whether you don't, you know? And this is a pro that not many people, I feel like, value until they stop meditating. It's only until you stop meditating and you realize, damn, like, bro, I've invested a lot of time into people and it was a bunch of bullshit, you know? But now, once you start meditating, you realize you can see people for who they truly are. You can see their intentions, what they truly are. And when you're able to do that, you have a distinct advantage. Think about it like this, man. Think about it like this. Let's say I put in 100 hours into this friend over here. 100 hours of my energy and time. But I didn't even know that he was a thief. He, he likes to steal from me. If I had, if I was meditating, I could have seen that within a couple of hours because I'm so good at reading him. When you become more self-aware during meditation, you also are able to become aware of other people's behavior. So it makes it easy to read their behavior. The good people, though, hey, man, when you find somebody that's truly great, man, don't hop on it too quickly, dog. I'm going to be careful. Because, I, you know, you can be wrong. I can be wrong. But if they're great, if they seem like they're a catch, you know, they're not showing no red flags. Take it slow and feel it out, you know. You never know. Next one we got, you're able to let go of what doesn't serve you. This one is very, very difficult for me. I don't even know if it has to do with meditation. But it's something that I've been dealing with. Letting go of what doesn't serve you. It's no hard feelings if you let go of something that I'm serving. No one is obligated to your time. Say that again. I'm not obligated for you to watch my videos. I'm also not obligated for to make videos for y'all. No one is forced anyone to do anything. Sometimes we get so invested in the situations and people that we forget we can let go. And sometimes the best option is to let go of what doesn't serve you. <sighs> Life is like a revolving door. When one person goes out, another person comes in. Don't stagnate your life because you can't let go of someone or something. Nothing lasts forever, man. I won't be here forever. You won't be here forever. Live life, love everyone, and just sometimes you just gotta let go wasn't what doesn't serve you, man. As you get better, a lot of things aren't gonna fit where they used to fit in your life because you're leveling up. It's gonna be a hard process, but you gotta let go, man. In order to receive more, you have to let go. All right, last but not least, we have. You build a peaceful house inside your mind with your thoughts. I want everybody to take a second to breathe, okay? When you sit with no music in your ears, with nothing to look at, and you just sit, no music, nothing to look at, nothing to feel, is it peaceful? When you're by yourself, is it peaceful? Is it a pleasant experience? If it's not, you should try, You should probably take a meditation. Because I'm going to tell you right now. When I sit with no music, nothing to look at, it's a peaceful, nice experience. I'm not talking about going to sleep. I'm talking about sitting down, with my eyes closed, and my thoughts, thinking. It's a peaceful, grounding experience. If you're wondering why you meditate and you don't feel this feeling, it might be because of mainstream media. Mainstream media is the opposite to medi of meditation. 
instead of slowing you down it's teaching you to go 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 click 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 scroll 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 mainstream media is the enemy of meditation So these are the pros I have experienced in meditation. Hope each and every one of y'all liked the video. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't like it. I love all y'all. This is Pros of Meditation.